God calls us here. God invites us and we respond. He's the one that wants us here and he's the one that gives us the grace to do what we have to do every day. It began um, in the turn of the century. Uh, our founders, Rose Hawthorne, who's the daughter of Nathaniel Hawthorne, was looking for a work of charity. She wanted to care for the most destitute class there was, and I think she decided that that was, at that time, people who were dying of cancer because they thought it was contagious. So she went down and found a small flat, one room, I believe, and began to took in her first patient. We still are caring for the poor and the marginalized. We take no insurance, no money from the patients. We take nothing from the government. We care for them for free for the time that they have. Uh, and God has been good to us. Uh, we've operated this way for over 100 years. We're here to serve those that are in need. And it doesn't matter what religion they are. It's just here that we're here to serve them and to make their time comfortable and until the Lord takes them home, and no matter what religion they are. We do get people that are homeless, um, people that don't have any family, or people that don't have any family that is involved in their lives. And you can see in a very concrete way how you're able to help people physically, um, emotionally. So there is a lot of joy in that. It's really more than just nursing care. It, it really is it really is the care of the individual. Um, each sister will have um, a patient, she will admit them, and she will more than likely care for them till they die. Before I entered, I was a registered nurse and I worked in a hospital. So being here, I, I love it because it's, you do one-on-one -on -one care. You take care of the same patients every day, and um, you really get to know them, and they almost become like part of your family. Usually, we um, we're on afternoon watch a couple times a week, so that consists of just being here and answering call lights and doing whatever needs to be done. It's hard, but we you we have that faith that this is not the end, that their life is not ending; it's just changing. So. We have to keep that in mind also, that we're um, ushering them into heaven. This is, it is an intense work and people are dying and it couldn't be done without the support of the prayer, prayer life. You know, humanly speaking, it can't be done. This care of the patient is really a progression of our prayer life. We really uh, need to show them our love and the love of Christ. We're taking that sustenance from the chapel to the patients and then coming when they come back to chapel they're bringing the needs of the patients, their families, to the Lord. Um, it's really back and forth from God as it were to the patients. Even though we help them and they say that we do so much for them, they really do a lot more for us in that regard. That. They do teach us how to surrender, how to accept whatever may come. And watching some of them journey through that and their acceptance of it and their surrender of it, it really does impact the, each individual sister's life. That spiritual part of it that we take from the chapel to our patient's care who, and who are sisters who we work with every single day side by side and it's our presence with each other. That's what it's about. Otherwise, we, could, we might as well go outside and be in another hospital and work.